The last thing the club needs is more upheaval and you should show some faith in me. We will give you some more time, but we expect to see you pick up nine points in the next five games. I can do that, I won't let you down. We are looking forward to you delivering those results. You should be aware that failure to live up to the commitments you have made here could result in the termination of your contract. We hope the next meeting with you has the same outcome. I am most definitely the worst football manager ever and as you can see here, it's like deja vu. You join me for the Gosport Gamble, thanks for joining me today by the way, do hit the like button and the subscribe button if you fancy following along, um, but to be honest, the rate I'm going, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't because um, as you just saw, I've been given another ultimatum. A, less than a season ago I was managing Gloucester and I was given five games to get eight points and I've literally just been given a really similar ultimatum I've got five games to get nine points let me show you what's been happening to explain it a little bit more shall we because the last episode you saw me play was Wildstone which was just the second game of the season I won the first game of the season against Western Supermare spirits were high I then got a draw one all and I thought you know what that's not so bad but since then things have just got from worse and worse and worse and worse um, I Net game after Wheelstone, I drew nil nil with Bishop Stortford, and I thought, okay, nil nil. You know, they're a good side. Don't get me wrong. I thought, fair enough. Then I lost two nil to Cheltenham, and I thought, well, Cheltenham, they're a good side. We, we, if we were to look at Cheltenham and their their general thing, they're, they're predicted to be top of the league. So losing two nil to Cheltenham, Cheltenham, I thought, fair enough. I then lost, then won the second game of the season two one, and I thought, this is good. I've lost to the best side in the league, but I'm doing okay now. 2-1. 1-1, drew two, lost one, and then draw one a second game. However, from then on, I haven't won a game. The last five games since then, I lost 1-0, I lost 2-1. I drew 0-0 with Bath, which was actually a, a flipping such a hard-fought game, it was unreal, but managed to scrape a 0-0 draw out of them. Then I lost, in the last two games, I've lost 3-0 to Maidenhead and 3-0 to St Albans. Quite frankly, it's been like embarrassing I, I don't understand what's going on I don't understand it I've been doing a 4-3-3 when that's gone a bit wrong I've tried a 4-4-2 and then this last game against St Albans I tried a different tactic as well I played tried my third tactic um, which I'll well, if I can try and find it here you go I played the 4-1-2-3 uh, and uh, that didn't work either um, and so things are not looking good <laughs> so I now find myself um, in the 20th position in the league that you heard right 10, 10 games gone and I'm 20th position I've only scored 9 points and um, oh man it's embarrassing and so the board has turned to me and said 5 games 9 points or you're out w with literally 20 games I've played for Gosport they might be chuck sacking me already um, I'm, I, uh, this is not good really not good and so um, that's it really, that's where we're at. And today I play Hemel Hempstead and I thought I'd, I'd have you in, involved in this <laughs> um, to, to see what what is going on. I, I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And luckily I wasn't filming the St Albans game because I was mega angry, Me mega angry. Like, I don't get angry. Those of you who, who follow along will know that I don't tend to get angry, but it happened. Unleashed. I was unleashed like a like a tiger out of a zoo after not being fed for four months. I was furious. I had a massive go at the team. Wasn't happy at all. Um, look at this. All sixes. Just absolute toilet. Absolute garbage. Um, I was so annoyed. Let me show you the match stats as well. The match stats. Um, we had 11 shots. Only three on target. Didn't score any of them. They had only seven shots on target and scored them. That's nearly half of their shots on target they've scored. So, what am I doing about it? Well, let me show you. Let me tell you now. Let me give you a fill, fill you in. Before, I haven't even played the game yet and I'm angry. Do you know what I mean? Um, anyway, so tactics are the following. I'm going for the back to the 4-3-3. Um, I just sense it's the right thing to do. In terms of my instructions, trying to keep it as basic as possible. 
um, the defense are pushing back slightly deeper um, I'm looking for the overlap really just through the advice of my backroom staff um, and that's basically it staying on your feet um, you know what, I might take that off though um, but that is it that's literally it but nothing else flexible I'm going control Hemel Hempstead are the slight favorites but when you when I show you where they are at in the league you'll see um, that they are quite low as well they're in 15th place they, they've only won four games themselves so um, I'm, I'm sort of wondering whether this might be an opportunity for a win so I'm going into control but apart from that that is it let me um, go straight through to the preview for today because this is this is important man I, I, I thought I could play one more game without film but I thought no I need to start filming these since I've got that ultimatum <laughs> how bad would that be if I get sacked from two clubs in less than a season that is that is bad right that that is bad so here we are 442 they look like they're going to be going for um, my team selection looks like the 433 here let me go th let me take you through my team and the sort of setup they're looking like at the moment we've got strong beardy in goal he hasn't been playing but after the last two games of, of the other keeper Nathan Ashmore letting in six goals I'm like well, stuff it forget him mate strong beardy he's an older guy he's 36 he's my goalkeeping coach actually not bad stats um, he's only played a few games for us this season, but I'm bringing him back in for this because that strong beardy. Like well, the main reason is the beard. That's that's what's good about him. You just need a fellow with a good beard. Although he's not the only fellow with a beard. Who will come to him? I think Jamie White here, my uh, striker, 26 years old, has also got a beard. Not as good as strong beardy, but still nice to see at the front and at the back. We've got strong beards. We may not be winning games, but we've got strong beards. So, you know. You've got to look for every good, every positive in this situation. So we've got Robert Geyer on the right, and we've got Johnny Hurd on the left. Now they are slight changes from before as well. Main reason is just through I'm going to have be having to do some um, squad rotation, but also Kelly Ugar, my left back here, has been injured and is out for another couple of weeks. So um, he's off, um, and uh, Dan Woodward is another right back. But anyway, um, yeah. So so I'm just giving. Uh, guy a go on the right here um, centre backs we've got J Sam Pierce and Greenidge Greenidge has not been playing well really um, let me show you his uh, let me go to the squad and I'll show you the uh, Greenidge no actually no no sorry he's the wrong player the wrong player the other player I have dropped already is this here DeGratcha um, average rating is 6.17 he's my lone player from Arsenal and he has not been playing well this season at all so he's dropped Elliot Wheeler has been injured and he's been my main right back and he's just come back he's on 91% um, what I might do is just put him into the subs um, for today I don't quite think he's ready yeah I don't I don't think he's quite ready to take a full um, first team place yet although he is a great player um, he's my sort of vice captain and I'm looking forward to him being back um, we've missed him, I think, at the back. Anyway, midfield. Let's go back to the tactic screen. Um, midfield, we've got um, Andy Robinson set as the plane as a centre mid automatic, and then the other side of midfield, we've got this guy here, Max Melanson or Max Millen, Max Millinson, Mix Millinson. That, that was my really bad South African accent. Uh, 18 years old, um, on loan from Yeovil. Just got him in. He's only come on as a sub once so far but played all right so I'm giving him a starting game today and then we've got Mike Carter who is um, sort of defensive midfielder has been injured for a lot of this season but he's now come back the last sort of 10 games or so he's pretty much been out but he's now back in and then up front we've got Charlie Collins Justin Bennett and Jamie White to be honest all of my strikers are doing, not doing too great at the moment most of them are all doing badly if I look at here the goals you can see here Justin Bennett scored one Jamie White scored three. Charlie Collins hasn't scored yet and he's nervous about it. Joe Anion Sar scored one. Um, my other player that I brought in, uh, Jamal Lowe, who brought in as a recommendation, I'll have you know from somebody. Unfortunately, he hasn't scored yet and he's not doing well. 6.52 and he's struggling, to be fair. So anyway, but team all round and not having a good time. We're not, all is not well in the camp. Um, in the subs bench we've got Ben Harding a defensive midfielder or mid centre mid we've got Carl Spence and Joe Anyansar who are wingers and Anyansar can play as a striker as well um, and we've got Nathan Ashmore in goal, Elliot Wheeler as I said is on the bench as well so that's the team that we're playing playing for with um, against Hemel Hempstead today man I can't even tell you how annoyed I am at myself 
with things at the moment, but also just like how desperate I am to stay management manager of Gosport. Partly because I've put loads of effort into things like these videos and the, and the thumbnails. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't want to have to waste all that work having to get a new thumbnail and a new video. Like I, I kind of I want this see this series to continue. Do you know what I mean? And um, otherwise, I'm going to have to find another team beginning with G to put Gamble in front of. Who is there? Gainsborough? Gainsborough Gamble? Who else is there? Um, I don't know. What other teams are beginning with G? I, I, for some reason, they've all completely gone out of my brain. But anyway, let's crack on, shall we? People are saying that Hemel Hempstead are the favourites to win. No, they're not. We are going to win this. I am determined to win this one. Um, come on, boys. I don't want to have to record a mega theme, a team talk again like I did before. We didn't actually win after that game anyway. But... Um, Oh man, if I need to, then I will. I will. I'm, I will, boys. If you don't do what I need you to do today, we should try and encourage the team here. Um, let's go assertive. Uh, let's let's go for the revenge tactic. Some of them are up for it, mm, in a lightly, mildly up for it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, we might go out. Yeah, maybe it's because they live by the beach. Maybe they're just too chilled because they live by the beach. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but they need to sort it out, where, whatever they're doing. Anyway, here's, here's a centrepiece. This pitch looks in a terrible state. Look at that. Look at that. This is the gospel pitch, and uh, it is not looking good out there today. No, I'm not happy with, with that either. I'm not happy about many things, to be fair. Um, we've had a shot already, though. Shot and it's been on target, and we have got far less possession than them, though. But anyway, here we go. It's a new game. New. It's a new game. You know, I've got to take just each game as they come, you know. I've, I've just got to take each game as it comes. Two shots now we've had, two on target as well. So that's good. Even though they've had more possession than us, somehow we seem to be making the movements. Making the movements. I don't even know what that even means. Anyway, Mike Carter, back from injury. He's played just about two games since being back from injury. And uh, still, you see there, he's 71%. Really, that's just because he's not fully, fully fit yet. Um, but I, I'm just in desperate need of some decent players, so I'm putting him in there. Um, yes, so any thoughts for tactics-wise? As you can see here, oh no, you can't really see there. There, I'll show you my three tactics. I've got a 4-1-2-3, three, 4-3-3 three, three, uh, three, three narrow. Uh, I've also got 4-4-2, four, four, um, which isn't coming up there as well. Four, four, a standard 4-4-2 four, four, that I'm playing with. Um, Pretty basic, standard, boring first half there. Encourage the team. We can still win this one. So, yeah, if you've got any ideas as to tactics that are working for you for lower league management, I really appreciate the tactic the other guy sent me before, the 4-4-2, which worked for a little bit, um, but not all the time. Whereas I started playing with this 4-3-3 and it was working. Like, I enjoy this. I enjoy this 4-3-3, um, three, three, but maybe it's wrong. Um, please, how things are going, keep it up. Okay, um... Revenge. I've just got to go revenge, I think. No, they're up for it. Good. I always find the players are up for revenge in, in the FM sixteen. Always. I've never I've never done a revenge, you know, like go and get revenge, go and like kill them. Ah and they're always like, Alright, yeah, I'm I'm up for that actually. It's quite it's quite nice, a bit sadistic, but it's, it's nice of them. You know, if if that's what it takes to get them going, that's what it takes. Okay, so we're all on sixes still. 6.4 Justin Bennett. You see, these strikers, I just haven't been able to rely on them this season. Um, somebody suggested to me that I should get David Platt back. And those of you who watch the Beta Bar City and remember the glory days of David Pratt, hashtag dare to David Pratt. Um, apparently, he's um, this fella's got him in his save now. And um, and he's scoring goals like... He's a goal machine, apparently. So maybe, maybe I should have brought brought David Pratt into the side um, okay meanwhile Mark Mike Carter is not looking too great at the moment so let's bring on Herding um, and we'll put him as a um, central midfielder um, defending or support no that's put him as automatic yeah go on automatic uh, James White also isn't looking too too great today but we'll give him a little bit more time so, five games, nine points. That's three wins I need. Um, yeah, I, I can't think of any other way to put it. Three wins. Come on. Come on, let's passionate. Let's concentrate. Let's keep going good. Look, we've had so much more shots and attacking um, play than they have, even though they've had more possession. 
Oh, here's a highlight happening. And it looks like it's a throw on to us. Gaia throws on to Harding. Harding across to Melanson. Haven't really seen him play much, Melanson. Across to Robinson. Over to White. What can White do with it? Back to Hurd. Forward to White. Is he onside? It seems he is. He's kept it in. Collins! Yes! Yes! Scoreboard! Oh, 75th minute. Collins has scored for us. What a man. Raw, mate. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right, here we go. Um, concentrate. Concentrate. We've got to hold on to this win. We have to hold on to this lead. Don't lose this now. Don't lose this. We need to hold on to it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We have scored. Collins, who has been, has been barren goal-wise, scores... You know, obviously it was a after sort of a deflection, and he you know had another shot, but still, he was in the right position at the right time. That is exactly what I needed. Oh my goodness! Come on, boys. Okay, um, Robinson's looking tired. Greenidge is looking tired. Subs. I don't want to take him off though. Greenidge is looking tired, but he's having a seven point three game, so I'm not going to take him off. Um, Andy Robinson, however, six point nine, not as good a game. Jamie White having not having the greatest of games either. Let's, um, oh, should I take Andy Robinson off? Here's my, no, you know what? No changes. Don't change. Don't change. Not going to make any changes at all here. I'm going to leave it as it is. Here's uh, Smith. Here's Smith. Corners are cut. Oh, wonderful save from Strong Beardy. Oh, my goodness. He's just kept us here. He might have just pretty much saved me from my job here. What a hero. That could be such an important save. Here's Onyamar. Boland across to Harriet. Okay, after this, hey, Robinson, great challenge from Robinson. Here's Bennett, Justin Bennett across to White. Collins is all on his own in the box there. Get it into Collins. Collins! Yes! 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 My word, my word. I just need a break. I need a break. Oh my goodness! Right, go defensive. We've got to. We've got to uh, waste time. Oh my goodness! I'm, I'm exhausted. Did you? What a run from Collins! All the space in the world. White brings it into the box. There's a cross. He's got all the time, and he goes first time anyway. And Butler in goal doesn't stand a chance. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh. Oh, wow. What do, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. On your mark, Cole. Ah, terrible. You can do that all day, mate. All day, Cole. What, what a game. 2-0. What a way to come back to that. My goodness. This is so good. Well done. Great result. 2-0. Wow. Charlie Collins, player of the match. 8.8. .8. Fully deserved that. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad. We had so many shots then and we weren't scoring. And then he pulls it out of the bag like that. Oh. Yes. Yes. This is what the Gosport Gamble is all about. Oh my goodness. One of the five games, one of them played three points in the bag. We only need six more points to keep my job. Not only do I want to keep the job, but I still want to get up the league. And I want to try and head towards playoffs. That's what I want. That is what I want. Um, let me just look at this. Collins impresses player of the match. Quality to put to the Hemel Hempstead defence to the sword and finish the match with two goals. Yes. he's He'll be so happy with that. He ends his goal drought. Um, 76th minute strike. He had played a lot of football without scoring, so he'll be so pleased with that. And my next game, we actually take a breather. We take a breather from these five games in my next game to play the first FA Cup game which I will record and I will show you tomorrow tune in tomorrow to watch that game my goodness my goodness the other four games I've got to play Ebbsfleet Oxford City Welling and Dorchester let's have a quick look um Ebbsfleet are pretty good from what I remember um where are Ebbsfleet yeah Ebbsfleet they're a sixth in the league Dorchester where are Dorchester they're bottom of the league that was helpful Welling and Oxford City so to be fair a lot of those teams are bottom of the league so I should be all right but i can never trust it you can never trust it can you but that brings this episode to an end um please i know i won that game but 
ultimately having this ultimatum is not good and i need your help so any thoughts you've got any ideas do leave comments below if you're enjoying this content do hit the like button do hit the subscribe button i really appreciate it um as when i write this uh when i'm recording this video um I'm in like the 90s for subscribers, which is amazing, and I'm so appreciative of it. So how about let's try and get us up to 100. So do uh, RT this channel, RT this video if you've seen it on Twitter or whatever. Let's get this people, this videos known. Let's get some more help for me. Let's get some real experts who really know what they're doing to help me out, and I'm sure you're an expert too. But thanks for joining me, and until next time, I'll see you later.